For number 13, we are going to find one of the solutions to the equation x squared minus 2x is equal to 15. Well, there's an easy way, and there's also the algebra way. I believe many of you guys were to see the easy way first, so let me demonstrate that in this video. The easy way is just that we will make good use of these answer choices right here. Whenever the question is asking us to find one of the solutions to the equation, that means they are giving you the possible x values right here already. Let's take a look of answer choice A, negative 15. That means that x could be possibly equal to negative 15. And choice B saying x could be possibly equal to negative 1. Likewise, choice C, choice D, and choice E. Our goal is to identify which of these x value when we plug it into the original equation that will satisfy this equation. Let me show you what I mean by that. And I'm not going to do this in order. I'm just going to pick my letter, let's say C. I will just say, I want to check C first. That means I'm saying x is equal to 3. But I'm not sure if this is the answer or not. So let me put the question mark on the top of this. And what I'm going to do is, I will plug in 3 into this x and that x. I will do the computation. I will see if this will be the same as 15 or not. If it is, then that's the answer. If not, I will go ahead and try to pick the other letter and then try to see if that works or not. So let's go ahead and do that. When I'm plugging 3 into this x, let me open the parentheses first, and then I will write down the 3 inside of the parentheses. This is a good habit when we're plugging numbers into x. Always open the parentheses first. And then here we have raised to a second power. So we go ahead and put down the second power, and we continue. We will have the minus 2x. So I'll write down the minus 2, and then I will have the parentheses, and then I'll write down the 3 into this parentheses. And then we will have to check if this computation will give us 15 or not. And let me just write down equal, but with a question mark on the top, because I'm not sure yet. 15. And then we'll continue this by doing the order of operation on the left hand side. Here we have 3 squared minus 2 times 3. So we can just do the 3 squared and then 2 times 3 at the same time, because they are separated by the subtraction. We always do the subtraction, or maybe sometimes the addition at the end. 3 squared, 3 times 3, that will give us 9. And then we bring down the minus. 2 times 3, that will give us 6. Will this give us 15? Certainly not, because 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. And 3 is definitely not equal to 15. This means that when x is equal to 3, it will not satisfy our original equation. Therefore, choice C is not the correct answer. So let me get rid of choice C. Then the next step is just that we'll pick another letter, plugging the number into the original equation to see if it works or not. If it works, then that's the answer. If not, we have to keep doing it. So the worst case scenario is that we have to do this four times. But let me just try with D. And here we are saying x is equal to 5. I'm not sure if it works or not. Let me plug in 5 to this x, and as a good habit, I will open the parentheses first, and then I'll put down the fine to this parentheses. This is x squared, so we have 5 squared, and then we have the minus 2 times x, so I'll put down the 2, and then the parentheses, and then we will have the 5 into this parentheses. I would like to know, and hopefully, this will give us 15. But I'm not sure yet, so let me put down a question mark right here. And now let's go ahead and do the word of operation on the left hand side. Here we have 5 squared, let's do that, and then this is 2 times 5, and let's also do that. 5 squared means 5 times 5, that will give us 25. Let me bring down the minus, 2 times 5 is 10. And as we can see, is this right? 25 minus 10 is definitely 15, and that's a true equation. And what this means is that the answer to this question is choice D. So that's it, we found the answer, and if you check out my next video, I will show you how to do the algebra way to solve this equation. So I'll see you then.